Hello all. In this video, we are going to be discussing about the basics of fluid. Like the definition of fluid and all that. So how can we define what a fluid is? See, in order to define this term fluid, you need to understand its behavior. So let us understand it. First of all, suppose I am saying that a fluid is at rest. This is a fluid which is at rest. So when the fluid is at rest, then it cannot resist any shearing force. Resting fluid does not have the capability to resist the shear force. However small this shear force may be. And that's why this fluid will start deforming continuously. Okay. What I'm saying is like if somebody is going to apply a shear force here to the resting fluid, then this fluid will deform continuously. However small this shear force may be. And this is how the fluid, the term fluid is defined. But what happens when the fluid is in motion? When the fluid is in motion, then it tries to resist this action of shear force. Now, if the fluid is in motion and you are, you are applying any shear force, then this moving fluid will try to resist this shear force. And this implies the principal difference between fluids and solids. This is how the fluid behaves. How? Like fluid will resist only when it is in motion. Okay. Fluid will resist to the shearing force only when it is in motion. But what about the solids? For solids, the resistance to a shear deformation depends on the deformation itself. How? That is, for the case of solids, the shear stress tau is a function of shear strain. That is why I am saying that for solids, the resistance to a shear deformation depends on the deformation itself. But for fluids, this resistance starts when the fluid is in motion. So what I'm trying to say is that for fluids, this shear stress is basically a function of rate of shear strain. That is this one. Now this is the correct time to define the viscosity of fluids the property of a fluid to resist the growth of shear deformation. So with this definition of viscosity, you can easily say that this property of fluid comes into play when the fluid is in motion. Why? Because only moving fluids can resist the shear deformation. So if the fluid is not moving, then there is nothing like viscosity. This property will never come into play if the fluid is at rest. So when the fluid is in motion, then only this property of fluid will come into play. Now I've already discussed about the shear stress and the rate of shear strain because we are discussing about fluids. So the relationship between the shear stress and the rate of shear strain that depends on the fluid. And if you see some of the common fluids, then they basically obey Newton's law of viscosity. Actually, it is these two properties, shear stress and the rate of shear strain, which decides the type of fluid. The common fluids in nature obey this Newton's law of viscosity, which is having a particular relationship between these two properties, which is shear stress tau is proportional to this rate of shear strain. That is for Newton's law of viscosity. And when you remove this proportionality sign, then this mu basically is the viscosity of fluid more specifically dynamic viscosity so such fluids are known as newtonian fluids okay for which tau is equal to mu into rate of strain or shear strain that they are newtonian fluids now let us consider the parallel motion of fluid like suppose the fluid is moving like this parallelly, parallel to the flow. In this case, if at a particular distance y, I'm looking at a fluid element, okay, this fluid element, then this is what I've shown 
here in this graph. This is the bottom one and this is the top one. So this is basically of length say del y. This is what del y and this is basically a, b, c, d and after a time say delta t this is moved to a dash, b dash, c dash and this is d dash. Okay. So the velocity of this layer at a distance del y is u y plus del y which is obviously more than this in this case. Obviously here different layers are having different velocities that's why this velocity is varying. Here in this particular graph if you see then this a a dash is basically equal to b b dash. Okay, this a a dash is equals to b b dash is equal to u of y plus del y into delta t because we are talking about the time frame delta t and why these two are equals because the velocity of this layer is same y plus del y okay similarly c c dash is equal to d d dash is equal to u of y into delta t of this layer because the velocity of this layer is u of y so from those things we can say that the corresponding shear strain gamma is equal to del x by del y how you can easily see from here this delta x by this is delta x and this is del y this one this one is del y so this shear strain gamma we can say is delta x upon del y and we can write it as u of y plus del y minus u of y into delta t upon this del y because this delta x is nothing but what is this delta x this cc dash and this is bb dash so if you are subtracting this cc dash which is this this is cc dash okay if you subtract cc dash from this bb dash then you will get this delta x okay this minus this is what is this delta x so this is what is written over here now for small time delta t the shear uh, or you, you can say the shear strain can be expressed via its via its rate of change as shear strain is equal to dy by dt into delta t for a small time frame delta t we can write the shear strain as this via its rate of change okay so now we can write by combining these two as d of y or gamma by dt is equal to this from here we can write gamma upon delta t is equal to rate of change of gamma with respect to time rate of change of shear strain with respect to time okay so this we can write from here what gamma and delta t will come here this delta t can go down and this will vanish from here like this I also have to write here like this so this now we can write as this which is nothing but u of y plus del y minus u of y upon this of y okay for very closer elements like when the fluid elements are very close to each other or almost touch each other when two fluid elements just touch each other in a parallel flow then in that case we can write this as nothing but rate of change of shear strain is equal to du by dy when the fluid elements are very much close to each other almost touch each other then in that case that we can say rate of shear strain is equal to du by dy therefore for a parallel flow of a Newtonian fluid shear stress is basically proportional to the gradient of velocity in the direction perpendicular to the flow that is 
टा और शेयर स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू डायनेमिक विस्कॉसिटी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलासिटी ग्रेडियंट ऑफ वेलासिटी इन द डायरेक्शन पर पेंडिकुलर टू द फ्लो बिकॉज दिस इज द वाई एक्सिस एंड दिस इज द वेलासिटी इफ यू कैन लुक एट दिस देन दिस इज चेंज इन वेलासिटी विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई दैट इज द डायरेक्शन पर पेंडिकुलर टू द फ्लो डायरेक्शन दैट्स वाई इट इज द ग्रेडियंट ऑफ वेलासिटी इन द डायरेक्शन पर पेंडिकुलर टू द फ्लो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो थैंक यू